Chicago State. It's either going to be Davis or Crawford. It is Brent Davis, so that'll be two quick ones on Brent Davis with 16.06 to go in the half. First sub comes courtesy of the Tommies. Ben Now, the junior guard from Brookfield, Wisconsin, replacing Kendall Blue. Ben Now comes in, usually a shooting threat on this St. Thomas team, but as of late, been in a bit of a slump. Three of 16 in his last three games for a grand total of 13 points. And also, A.J. Neal will come in for Chicago State. First sub of the game for the Cougars. Yeah, last game now 0 for 5 from the field in that win against Milwaukee. Another guy on a cold streak as Bjorklund can't get that to go. Bjorklund missing, tapped it to Corbett on the board. Chicago State pushing. Crawford to Neal. Hesitation dribble, and I think Gene Charles thought he was going to let it fly, and it results in a turnover. And a confused shrug there from Gene Charles back at his teammate. No one seemingly on the same page on either side so far, Chris. It's been a sloppy opening five minutes or so, and only two points apiece to show for it. Coach Gerald Gillian came right out to A.J. Neal, and he wanted him to shoot the ball. And he wanted him to shoot the ball, and we'll go to break and be right back here at the Jones Convocation Center in Chicago after this. It's game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. Convocation Center in Chicago. The Cougars taking on the St. Thomas Tommies. We're tied at two apiece. Here are my partner Alex Campbell. I'm Chris Rouse. And Alex, sloppy start to this game for both teams. Yeah, both teams only with two points on the board. The only field goal of the game, courtesy of Parker Bjorklund for St. Thomas, with Brent Davis having two free throws converted for the two points for CSU. Plenty for both coaches to go over. After whatever the pregame message was either side, I don't think the coaches would have been happy with the opening four minutes and 13 seconds of execution. Also, during that timeout, prior to it, I should say, Gerald Gillian, he came out to the floor to A.J. Neal, said shoot the ball as he passed up on a wide open three leading to the turnover. Yeah, especially when you've started slow on both ends, you've got to take the chance for an open corner three when it comes like that. Two to two, our score as action resumes. 15-37 and counting in the first half. St. Thomas. Working the ball around the perimeter, Ben now over to Dobbs. Nice bounce pass inside, feeding Lee. Lee instead hit Dobbs, who lost it on the floor. And now the mad dash continues. A three on the way, and it's banked in for Brooks Allen. Allen, a solid three-point shooter, 32% on the year. And maybe is that the spark that finally wakes this game up? First triple for either side of the afternoon. 5-2, our score. Cardet, top of the key, finding Corbett. Corbett looking for someone to come to the ball. He's looking for Gene Charles. Deshaun Gene Charles. Back up top to Cardet. Crawford lets it fly from the corner. Knock it down. First field goal for Chicago State. Great response there. Noble Crawford, who's shooting a blistering 47% from downtown on the season. Showing you why right there. Playing with so much more confidence as of late, Alex, especially getting these starting nods for Coach Gerald Gillian. Dobbs. Over to Anthony, thought about the three. Goes around Crawford and got Cardet in the air. He missed it. Great composure. Second effort for St. Thomas. They get three second chance points on this rip. Three straight threes and a quick timeout by Gerald Gillian. Not liking his team's defense on those last two possessions as the squads trade triples at the moment out of that previous media timeout. 
Alex, what do you make of this for St. Thomas? We In the first few minutes, we saw them struggle to get into a set. Now you see them come out of the timeout, couple of quality shots. Well, you talked in the pregame, Chris, about how we thought this game was going to be really fought on the interior. And on that last possession, it all came from that drive by Raheem Anthony where he got a couple defenders in the air. Yes, he ends up missing the layup, which, you know, I think he'll probably want that one back. But it ends up collapsing the Cougars' defense. He's got room to kick it out. And if the Tommies can do more of that, can get the Chicago State defense condensed inside, that can open it up more where they are certainly the superior three-point shooting team here today. And they'll be looking to take advantage of their, you know, statistical advantage in that category. 34% to 27 for the Cougars coming into today. What do you think Jared Gillian is telling his team here? Early, early timeouts, early subs. He's looked unhappy here these first six minutes or so. To call a timeout out that quickly after the last stoppage. Clearly he was seeing something on the defensive end that really irked him. We'll have to see how they respond next time the Tommies bring the ball up the floor. But for now, a chance for the Cougars to get some points back on their own end. Cam Jernigan, number 22, in for the first time for Chicago State. He's at the elbow right there for the Cougars. Here's Cardet. And here comes Jernigan to set the screen. Cardet. Trying to work that two-man game with Jernigan. Instead, Cardet gets stripped of the ball. Dobbs has possession. Great effort by Drake Dobbs, getting dirty, so to speak, to come with the turnover. One of the smaller men on the floor, but that just means his hands are closer to the ball in that situation. And a hard-fought win there, but the possession arrow dictates it stays with the Cougars. Tristan Arnault in for the first time for Chicago State. And Carter Bjerke, number 35, was in there on the previous stoppage. Finally get a chance to call his name out as he's guarding Jernigan down in the post. It'll be Deshaun Jean Charles to trigger it in to Cardet. Chicago State with six on the shot clock. Down to five. Jernigan to Corbett with three. Let's it fly. Couldn't get his three to fall. Jernigan knocks it out, and it'll go to St. Thomas. Tommy's in possession here with 13.47 to go in the first half. Here's a look at Coach Gerald Gillian, third season here with the Chicago State Cougars. It was brick by brick last year. Now they're trying to make the south side stand up as they move on to the NEC. Something to watch for when the Cougars are in possession. They're finding a way to double team Cardet at the top of the key without really working away from another man. They're managing to be man to man and create that double team at the same time. Maybe got to space things out at the top of the key for the Cougars. Here's Dobbs. There's space for St. Thomas. He misses the three, however, rebounded by Deshaun Jean Charles. Another thing worth mentioning, Alex, Chicago State not really playing with a true point guard. Ked Green out of the lineup. Cardet can be the true point guard, but is also listed as a forward. And we've maybe seen a bit of that confusion is the the cuts, the passing hasn't been as crisp as maybe we're used to in these opening minutes. Here's Cardet, pull up jumper from the free throw line. That's clean for Wesley. Cardet, who goes way back with Coach Gillian, back to their Samford days. Cardet hits the jumper, makes it a one point game for St. Thomas. And now here's Arno pressuring the ball. Then now. Nice pass by now, feeding Dobbs. Dobbs has been active early here, Alex. And if you're the CSU coaching staff, you're going to be frustrated with the 6-2 guard getting in position on the block like that. Should never be that easy, but especially for a guy who you've got the height advantage over on a man-to-man -man basis. 10-7 our score, 12-21 in counting. Dobbs with his first two on the other end. Deshaun Jean Charles <laughs> sort of hot potatoed the ball there and then picked it up. Did well not to lose his dribble. 1-2-2 two, two zone for St. Thomas as Jernigan comes to set the screen, forces the breakout defensively. Jernigan is fouled over the top by a Johnny Lee. Lee picking up his first foul. You know, Alex, that's one of those plays where the pass was so bad that it worked out for Chicago State leading to the foul. Yeah, this pass is overcooked actually a little bit. It's like a quarterback leaving his, leading his receiver just a half a yard too far, but draws the defensive pass interference, so to speak, and an under the basket inbound after the foul for the Cougars. Can you picture a Johnny Lee being a free safety? That's a big free safety. Six foot nine, that would be <laughs> unique. <laughs> now Jernigan and Bjerke, Mixing it up down there. They're having an argument, and Coach Gerald Gillian defending his player, Cam Jernigan, saying he's got a right to the block. And action resumes. Arno, corner three, A.J. Neal, cash it in, A.J. 
A.J. Neal only played one minute in that win over Stetson. He's eclipsed that already today, and he's got himself on the board. Big three to tie us up at 10. Yeah, A.J. was a foul switch briefly in that game against Stetson, getting major minutes here in the early going. Bjerke, top of the key three. He feeds off the intensity with he and Jernigan. For a big man, he shoots it well. 46% from downtown this season. Missed his only two attempts last game. Nice connection there on his first long distance effort of the afternoon. A modern big man is Bjerke, 6'9 guy who can step out, hit the three, shoots it over Jernigan. Arnaud down low to Corbett. Corbett should have the advantage on the speed here. I think St. Thomas knew that, so they doubled. AJ yeah, this Neal. hybrid zone in man-to-man -man is giving the Cougars some fits. Neal, that should have been an offensive foul. It is an offensive foul late, but the right call nonetheless. Yeah, they'll get A.J. Neal for that. Referees almost looked like they took a quick look at each other. We'll take another look here. And, yeah, you can just see Neal there, lowers his shoulder. Now he's got his feet planted. Ben now takes the charge, and now we'll go to break. Chicago State trailing by three, 13-10. We'll be back after this on YouTube Live. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. It's game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Set your future in motion at Chicago State University with over 70 degree and certificate programs, ample scholarship opportunities, and a vibrant campus life. Chicago State University is Chicago's number one most affordable public university with a diverse faculty, small class sizes, and almost 50 student organizations, including NCAA Division I athletics. At Chicago State, we provide you with the tools you need to succeed. Visit csu.edu forward slash admissions to learn how you can earn your first year of tuition free. Back here at the JCC in Chicago, here with Alex Campbell, I'm Chris Rouse. Our score, 13-10, St. Thomas with 11.07 to go in the first half. And Alex, in modern basketball, three-point shooting is key. It's key in this game, or it's supposed to be at least. Yeah, the Tommies clearly with an emphasis on that so far today. They've already attempted seven threes, only made three of them, but they're comfortable sticking with that as a means of offensive production. We got a 2-2-1 two, two, zone press here from Chicago State as action resumes. Couple subs for both sides out of that timeout as well. You see, you can see Greg Spate and Ryan Dufault respectively out there for the Cougars and Tommies. And Martinelli also in there for St. Thomas just cut through the paint. Here's a nice drive. Hey, there's down Martinelli, right corner three on the way. And there's a way to help us recognize you. Knock down the three. Now three out of nine on the season is Martinelli from downtown. And that's the fourth three of the half for the Tommies. And that's really what's powered this six-point lead. That's also, that also brought the building to life. That's the loudest the entire JCC has been thus far as Corbett hands it off to Spate. We mentioned those St. Thomas fans travel well, as you can see behind the bench there. Here's Neal for three off the rim, rebounded by Raheem Anthony. Now, I was going to say that is a deep three by A.J. Neal. You wonder if the Cougars could have worked for a better shot. Marnelli back to Anthony. Right corner three on the way for St. Thomas, and that's Allen. He's got six. St. Thomas by nine here in the first half. It is raining from long distance here for the Tommies in this first half. Back-to-back -back threes out of that last timeout. Allen with that one. And we talked about it coming out of that last break, Chris. That was clearly a point of emphasis for the Tommies today. No change there, and the Cougars now need to find a way to adapt to try to close out those three-pointers. We mentioned coming to this game, Corbett versus Anthony, but here's St. Thomas, five of nine from three-point land in this ball game for Chicago State. Where does the, where's the adjustment most needed here in the first half? Well, you can see on that last possession, they were a little afraid of Anthony driving the lane, and they moved a guy over to double him up there. But that's just leaving guys wide open on the outside. So the question right now, if your coach, if, if your coach Gillian is, do you trust your guys to guard drives 1v1 to the hoop? 
or do you feel like you've got to prevent any you know any points in the paint at the risk of maybe the Tommy's getting these open threes right now Offensive strategy working very well for the visitors halfway through this first half. Raheem Anthony so far in the game is scoreless, but he has three assists and three rebounds. And I'm not a certain on this, but I'm almost certain those three assists have resulted in nine points. They've all resulted in threes. Can't confirm that as now Brent Davis pushes into the front court. Chicago State. Slow start here for the Cougars on the Sunday afternoon at home. Corbett down low to Crawford. Nice feed and one for Noble Crawford. And that's a second on Raheem Anthony. And that'll be huge for St. Thomas is now one of their leading offensive weapons. They'll have to manage his foul trouble with 945. Here's another look. He definitely just hip checked Noble as he went up off the glass. Nice bounce pass inside there by just Sean Corbett for the assist. And Anthony, as we would expect, does indeed go to the bench. Noble Crawford a step to the charity stripe. As you see, Raheem Anthony head to the bench at the top of your screen. Crawford 73% from the line this season. Ball in the air and off the rim. Rebounded by Martinelli. He's given him an effective two minutes thus far for St. Thomas. This St. Thomas team doesn't use a lot of players as that's taken away by Corbett. Another big free safety. Deshaun Jean Charles to the basket. He missed it. Now Chicago State 6-7 free safety goes up strong and the foul. Back to back for the Cougars. Strong down low. And this time it's Corbett scoring after he assisted the last one. Great strength there shown by number 24 in Grain Green. Great effort to rip the ball away from Kendall Blue. And then once he got it, he went up strong and a vicious yell right in the face of Kendall Blue as Corbett, Corbett now trying to make St. Thomas see green as he goes to the line. Chicago State finding a way on these last two possessions to get that inside positioning, but they need to convert from the foul line if it's going to count. Corbett hits the free throw. 19-15, and just like that, Chicago State in one trip down the floor has taken five off the lead. And we saw this press payoff last possession, two in a row. Default got in the air and he passed it. They teach you not to do that for a reason because it leads to points. Back-to-back -back steals and five points off them. Three excellent offensive possessions now in a row and two defensive excellent ones for the Cougars out of that last timeout. Chicago State now showing off their athleticism. Gene Charles pressuring the ball. Martinelli lost it to Davis, who went down. We got players falling all over the place. Bjorklund lets a three fly. That's no good. Rebounded by Corbett. And Chicago State down two will settle down. Cougars turned up the heat there, Chris, out of that timeout. And Tommy's got a little singed on those last few possessions. A 7-0 run in a matter of 40 seconds for Chicago State off of those few rips. Here's Corbett to Gene Charles. Cardet has the drive baseline, feeds inside to Crawford. The ball was deflected away. Corbett, three on the way, off the rim. Cardet lost it, so did Blue, and a foul will favor St. Thomas. It'll go against Cardet. Cardet picks up his first. Both players just going for the ball there. Cardet unlucky to get their second. The number of subs at the table, Cam Jernigan in for Chicago State. Meanwhile, now Dobbs and Lee. Three new players in purple for the Tommies, or three returners. I was saying before we were cut off by one of those steals, the Tommies don't go very deep, but they do rotate quite a bit. Nobody really on this team consistently plays 30 plus minutes. Even though they've got a longer bench today than the Cougars, don't expect many of those guys to get in the game unless it's a blowout one way or the other. Coach Johnny Tower in his 13th season as the St. Thomas Tommy's head coach, coaching them from the D3 level to D1. And in his 24th season overall on the bench, split his time basically even now, 11 years as an assistant before those 10 as the head coach. He's a St. Thomas lifer, so to speak here, trying to lead this team to success at the D1 level. Record of 251 and 88 in all the years, 13 years as the head coach. Three on the way is good for Ben Now, and they've been looking for Now to heat up as of late. Ben Now, now two for two from downtown. Back to that five point lead. And he needed that. Three of 16 shooting in his last three games. He's perfect here on a Sunday in Chicago. Corbett to the basket. Nice finish with the right hand off the rim and got part of the glass. Beat his man on the dribble and then just split Allen and Blue to finish at the rim. 22 19, 739 to go in the first half. St. Thomas with Dobbs in possession here. Chicago State looks like they're in a bit of a 2 3 zone as they have their bigs up top. Sort of got switched on the matchup. Now going against Corbett. 
Shot clock at five. A Johnny Lee on the drive. Nice finger on reach. Checked it by Cam Jernigan. Shot clock at one. Off the rim for Blue. And Jernigan gets the board overall for Chicago State. What a defensive possession there for Cam Jernigan, the Gary, Indiana native, with the swat and then the board. Tristan Arnaud running the offense here for Chicago State. They look jumbled up down lows. They got four guys within about five feet of each other. Corbett. All around the horn. It looked like they were going to go to Corbett on the block. Instead, they go to Neal. AJ stripped of the ball by Ben now. It's a three-on-one for St. Thomas. Dobbs hits the trailer. Blues block. And he's also fouled by Jernigan. Jernigan looking for back-to-back -back blocks there. Instead, picks up his first personal. Kendall Blue driving hard to the rim. He's knocked down. And that'll take a foul. That'll cause a foul against Jernigan as you see him swipe across the arm here with 642 remaining in the first half. This is Chicago State men's basketball on YouTube Live. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner of the biggest names of live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. It's game day in Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Canes chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Set your future in motion at Chicago State University with over 70 degree and certificate programs, ample scholarship opportunities, and a vibrant campus life. Chicago State University is Chicago's number one most affordable public university with a diverse faculty, small class sizes, and almost 50 student organizations, including NCAA Division I athletics. At Chicago State, we provide you with the tools you need to succeed. Visit csu.edu forward slash admissions to learn how you can earn your first year of tuition free. 22-19, our score, Chris Rouse here with my partner, Alex Campbell. Chicago State, Alex, down by three. Could they look to the reserves to try to help the comeback? So far, the substitutes for Coach Gerald Gillian doing their work, outscoring the Tommies bench eight to four. So far in this one, we've seen the likes of A.J. Neal and Cam Jernigan come in and make pretty immediate impacts, trying to complement the work of the likes of Cardet, Corbett, and Crawford. And also Chicago State, only down three here with 6.42 to go in the first half. And also for Chicago State faithful, tomorrow women's basketball will be in action as they'll take on the Georgia Southern Eagles right here on YouTube Live, 3 p.m. Central Time, locally here in Chicago, 4 Eastern. Chicago State Cougars, Georgia Southern Eagles, as the Cougars women's team still looking for that first win of the season at 0-14. And also coming up at halftime here, as we've got 6.42 to go, Coach Gerald Gillian will be with our friend Sam Brief, so I'm sure we'll get a championship presentation as usual from our championship crew here in the JCC. 22-19, our score as action resumes. And Blue hits the first. Alex, we haven't really seen much out of St. Thomas's bigs on the interior, but the guards, they've caused a lot of activity. Absolutely, and they're really trying to stretch the floor, and they've shown that their big guys can shoot threes. We've seen the likes of Bjorklund and Bjerke knocking down long shots. Blue will go to the bench after hitting the free throw, and Blue needed that, his first two points of the game. He's 0 for 3 from the field, perfect 2 of 2 at the stripe. 24-19, our score. Raheem Anthony back out onto the floor with those two fouls for St. Thomas. That'll be a storyline worth watching here. Anthony in eight minutes, scoreless, three rebounds and three assists. And his assists, I'm almost certain, have directly correlated into threes for St. Thomas. Noble Crawford. Corbett working on a Johnny Lee. Great adjustment inside with the left hand. Looked like he might have gotten stuck there in the middle of the lane with that jump step, but a great adjustment on it was left hand off the glass and good. 
Seven in the game now for Corbett. Chicago State down three with 6.05 to go in the half. Now corner, right wing three, got it in over Spade. He came from the corner to the angle. We were looking right behind that shot. That thing was crisp and on target all the way. Yeah, that was a perfect flick of the wrist as that thing got beautiful air underneath it. Perfect rotation for three. Now, now three out of three from downtown. He was, he, remember, he had only hit three shots in the last three games. He's got three here in the first half. Deshaun Jean Charles to Corbett. Usually his spot to shoot from three. Instead, he'll go inside, but he misses. Raheem Anthony on the board. They got a man in the corner. It's now. Actually surprised now didn't let that fly. He had to look. Raheem Anthony gets a screen high from Lee. St. Thomas has to switch with Cardet on Lee. They go to Bjerke instead. He missed it. Rebounded by Crawford. They just keep letting those threes fly. They've taken 19 of them now. Excuse me, 14 of them now out of 19 field goals in this first half have been from distance for the Tommies. St. Thomas not bashful at all today. As Spate, he's not bashful either. Misses. Rebounded by a Johnny Lee. Five-hour trip for the St. Thomas Tommies from their home court here to the JCC. And right now they have a six-point advantage. Schonecker Arena up in St. Paul, Minnesota. Now with a beautiful feat to Lee and a monster two-hand slam for Johnny Lee. And the bench and fans erupt. What a bounce pass by Ben Now. Looked off the entire Cougars defense. And as soon as Lee had that ball, he was throwing it down all the way. Beautiful give and go as the Johnny Lee cutting from the corner, diving down the baseline to the dunker spot. And he finished with a highlight. Corbett guarded by Lee. Lee has the size advantage against the big man for Chicago State. Corbett working down, side, down low, missed again, rebounded by Lee, holding his ground. Now to Anthony, to Lee. Back to now, he's been hot so far. He cools off there. Some confident passing, though. They're feeling it right now, are the Tommies. You can tell with the rapid passing. Ben now getting active, loses the ball. Actually got it off Crawford. It'll go to St. Thomas. What a heads-up play by now. Falling out of bounds, throwing it off the defender. And the Tommies have it rolling right now. We'll take another look. Chicago State protesting that that ball was last off of them. And Ben now, here's another look. And now he knocked it away off Crawford, and then he threw it in. Ooh, maybe it did get the foot. That one goes right off the foot of Noble Crawford. And while the officials figure it out, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back to the JCC in Chicago on YouTube Live after this. Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. It's game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers. One love. <laughs> Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. It's cold here in Chicago, but the St. Thomas Tommies have been heating up as of late. Ben now with a beautiful feed to a Johnny Lee to cap off a run for the Tommies. A Johnny Lee just with a big two-handed over-the-head slam. And we've referenced Chris early in this one, the strong showing from St. Thomas fans in the crowd. They were all on their feet after that throwdown by Lee. 
Remember, they made the five-hour trip here to Chicago from the Schoenaker Arena to support their St. Thomas Tommies. 346 in counting in the first half as Martinelli crosses the timeline against this 2-2-1 two, two zone for Chicago State. They break out to man-to-man -man now. Blue, cross court to Martinelli. He's on the line for two, rebounded by Corbett. Had time to take that step back if he wanted it. Cardet, into the front court. Lost it off his foot, should go to St. Thomas. Instead, Kendall Blue I may have gotten a piece of that. I don't know about that, Alex. Should be going the other way. From our view, it looked for sure like it went off of Cardet's foot last. We'll take another look. Yeah, there's no one even in the area for St. Thomas. There's no Tommy within 10 feet of that basketball. Coach Tower and the Tommies will let it play on. Almost got the steal there. Out of the inbound, Jernigan! There's a hometown highlight for Cam Jernigan. Cam Jernigan had the big swat at the other end. He just swats that ball down through the rim on this end. Sort of fell asleep there as Allen approached the basket. And the Cougars reset, able to regroup defensively. Up top to Blue. Bjorklund. Bjorklund only two points in the ball game. The first field goal. Here's Bjorklund on the drive. Floats it up over three defenders, and he's clearly fouled as Jernigan knocks him down. Those pump fakes keep working for St. Thomas. They keep going back to those. They are getting the Cougars in the air. As we see, that's what happens here. Jernigan. <laughs> what a swipe. <laughs> he's, he's now been called for fouls twice. I think he might be feeling a little confident, Chris, after that earlier block. He is just taking full volleyball spike swings at the basketball. <laughs> he has missed on the last two attempts. That was almost a heat check foul, so to speak, meaning you just got a basket on the other end, so you're determined to do something on the other end. And he picked up the foul, knocking, sending Bjorklund to the strike. And now 16 fouls on the Cougars, one away from putting St. Thomas in the bonus. Parker Bjorklund averaging 14 and a half a game in two career games played against Chicago State. He had 20 a couple years ago. He only had nine last season and now Chicago State pushes it in the front court. Here's Corbett. Swings it up top to Cardet. Top of the key three on the way. Off the rim, rebounded by Martinelli for St. Thomas. Cougars now just two of seven from downtown. Martinelli had it deflected, tried to hook pass it, and here's Davis starting a three on two for Chicago State. Carnett had Jernigan, he'll take it himself, banks it off the glass, no good. Bjorklund almost knocked it into the opposing basket. We got bodies all over the floor, and the ball go to St. Thomas. Missed opportunity there on the break for the Cougars. Chance to just make the extra pass, and then on the follow-up, referees say the ball is last off of Noble Crawford. So to go to St. Thomas, also you saw Davis and Carnett falling over one another to the floor. Arno and Gene Charles check back in for the Cougars. And they extend their defense as they push this press up. You see Carnett walking into your screen for you at home on television. Happy that you could join us on this Sunday in Chicago. NCAA D1 men's basketball and a huge week for Chicago State. The announcement that they'll be headed into the Northeast Conference next season. Big announcement, of course, for the basketball programs, but really across the Cougars athletics programs. Lots to be excited about from basketball to soccer to volleyball and more. Dr. Monique Carroll, who we had on the, on the show last week, making a big impact almost after being on air with us. So here is Martinelli for St. Thomas. Under two minutes to go in the half. Blue to Bjorklund. Bjorklund. It's to Allen, Martinelli, great ball movement. Martinelli got the three, no good. Somehow there wasn't a foul as he and Crawford had contact. Ball goes out of bounds to Chicago State. Martinelli still arguing with the official, and also we got a player down. I think that's Bjorkland on the far side who went crashing into the CSU bench, and CSU coaches calling for the medical staff from the Tommies. Yeah, that is Bjorkland going down as Gene Charles caught him running right into the bench. I think Tristan Arno kind of gave him a, a hip check there, and he his momentum took him right into the seats. And yeah, Bjorklund is still down on the floor, but that is a great sign that he is at least sitting up. We'd love to see Parker Bjorklund get back to his feet here. So far in the ball game, just three points in eight minutes. And now back to his feet is Parker Bjorklund. And meanwhile, Martinelli was still talking to the official, as you see, just trying to box each other out there. and. Actually, it's nothing Arno does. He just steps out of the way, and all of a sudden that leverage that Bjorklund had disappeared, and gravity did the rest. 
But Johnny Lee will now come into the ball game and replace Brooklyn as they try to make sure he's all right on the sideline. Meanwhile, during that break, we saw Dal Martinelli still talking to the official about that bump he got in the air after he took that three. I can understand maybe the officials thought there wasn't enough to it or it didn't affect the shot, but we almost always see those calls. Right, that was very clear. You hear about landing space. Crawford did more than that. He made contact and ran through the landing space, but no whistle. Final 100 seconds of the first half here in Chicago. Brent Davis to Jashan Corbett. Crawford working up top, finding Cardet. Cardet, three on the way, in and out. Long rebound, run down by Blue for St. Thomas as they get into the front court. Crawford with the steal, and here's Davis pushing the other way. It's a three on two. Gene Charles to the basket, almost traveled. Davis caught the air ball, and Chicago State is still unable to score. Cougars just ice cold right now. They cannot get anything to go near the basket or from 20 feet. Chicago State, one of their last nine. St. Thomas, they haven't scored in over three minutes. Somebody's got to break this cold streak. Here's Dobbs. Guarded by Corbett. He gave it up to Now. Now's had the hot hand. But instead, he's just going to dribble around the perimeter to defeat Allen, who missed the layup, rebounded by Corbett. Lids on both baskets right now. Easy layups going, begging at both ends. Whole lot of nothing these last three minutes of game action. Here's Cardet into the front court. Scoring drought at two and a half for Chicago State. Here's Cardet with the dribble behind a Johnny Lee there. And back to Gene Charles. Cougars playing through Cardet as his possession slowly develops. Shot clock at five. Shot clock at three. Shot clock at two. Somebody's got to shoot it. Gene Charles got it off, and it's a shot clock violation as he shot it straight off the glass. And the Cougars unable to get anywhere near the basket on that one. Just forced into the backcourt. Nothing doing. And 6.4 seconds now for the Tommies to draw something up to extend this seven-point lead before the half. Chicago State hasn't scored in three minutes and 13 seconds of game action. St. Thomas in two minutes and 45 seconds. And if nothing is scored here, we'll have three minutes in this ball game without a single basket. That's not unlike how we started this game, Chris. Both teams really struggled to get going. Didn't have any points on the board for about three minutes. Cougars didn't get a field goal for about five. And now the Tommies, they won't be satisfied with how they've played the last few minutes, but they've got an opportunity here to extend this up to a 10-point lead going into the break. They've been the better team, but I don't think either side, Chris, will be thrilled with their execution in the opening 30 minutes. Right, I would love to be a fly on the wall in both locker rooms at halftime. And for Gerald Gillian's team for Chicago State, you're down seven. It feels like maybe we should be tied or have a lead. What do you think he's telling his team right now? Got to just focus 6.4 seconds. Focus on defense. Don't worry about anything else right now. Don't worry about the scoring drought. Don't worry about, you know, anything that's happened to this point or what you're going to do in the second half. All you've got to worry about is not fouling and playing good defense for these final seconds of the opening half. 2-2-1 two, two, zone for Chicago State. Zone press, that is. As now Allen turns it over under the basket. Crawford lays it up, but he couldn't finish. And what a wild turnover for St. Thomas. Couldn't even get the ball in. Take a timeout to talk things over, and you immediately give the ball right back to the Cougars. And now free throw time for Noble Crawford. A gift here that the Cougars need to, need to accept. Crawford in 17 minutes so far, just five points. He missed the only free throw he attempted earlier. I might have just jinxed him, or maybe I helped him. He hit it. So now four seconds for the Tommies, who can take another timeout if they wish. They've got three left in the opening half. Crawford with six and seven. Chicago State within five as a result. Final three seconds. Dobbs across the timeline, lets it fly. He beat the horn, but he shot it over the backboard. And after the first half, the St. Thomas Tommies, they've come into Chicago and they've taken a five-point lead into the break against the Chicago State Cougars. We'll be back with second half action. But first, spiring the staircase with head coach Gerald Gillian here on YouTube Live after this break. It's game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers. 
one love. <laughs> Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. Set your future in motion at Chicago State University with over 70 degree and certificate programs, ample scholarship opportunities, and a vibrant campus life. Chicago State University is Chicago's number one most affordable public university with a diverse faculty, small class sizes, and almost 50 student organizations, including NCAA Division I athletics. At Chicago State, we provide you with the tools you need to succeed. Visit csu.edu forward slash admissions to learn how you can earn your first year of tuition free. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. That's our destination. We're here at the bottom. Sam Brief and men's basketball coach Gerald Gillian. How are you? Good. I'm doing good, man. Blast highly favored, living a dream. Absolutely. And you were the first ever spiraling the staircase victim, as I call them. Right. And now we're going right back up. You remember the deal? Oh, man, I remember. Great opportunity, <laughs> man. I'm so blessed, so happy, man, to be able to do this again. Let's do it. Let's All do right. It. Getting right into things, it's your third year at Chicago State. What makes this team different from any other you've had? Well, we, we've had a chance to be around each other for a couple of years. We had a good amount of our offense, a good amount of our roster to come back, had more than 50% of the offense come back. And now it's just continuing to jail, continuing to learn each other. And that's probably the, the best, the thing that makes us most special is being around each other for an extended period of time. What do you see as the identity of this team? Oh, man, I always hang our hat on defense. We're going to pressure the basketball 94 feet. We're going to rebound the basketball, and we're going to give you 40 minutes of aggressive south side of Chicago style defense for 40 minutes. So when people say the phrase Chicago State men's basketball, what do you want them to think? Is this a one word? You know, one word, a phrase. I'll give you a couple. Oh, man. I mean, you can go south side toughness. You can go. I, I, I like to prefer that south side toughness. It just, just hits different. South side toughness. You were really far south around Thanksgiving time in Cancun, Mexico. How was Mexico for the guys? Oh, first it was hot, really <laughs> hot. Couldn't wait to get back up here to this south side weather. I'm a four season guy, but it was a great bonding experience. Got a chance to spend extended periods of time outside of the country, a lot of time to just interact with one another, and it was a great opportunity. Came away with the win. We lost one at the buzzer, and we won one, but just the opportunity. A lot of these guys, it was their first time going across the water, so it was it was great for the team. You say you're a four-season guy. When I first met you three years ago, you were fresh off the plane from Florida. Right, right, you thought right. 50 degrees was cold, and now we're at the top, by the way. We're going right. to start to skirt back down the staircase. You 50 degrees was cold. Now you're a three-year Chicagoan. How are you adjusting? Oh, man, I'm, I, 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 I wish I had my Illinois ID on me, but it's amazing what a little bit of history, a little bit of tradition to do. I'm a Chicagoland guy now. I mean, I love the weather. I love that Harold's chicken. And I just I like the, the whole deep dish. Like, I'm a Chicago guy. There we go. What, what else can I say? Love me some raised chicken as well, by the way. Chicken, <laughs> deep dish, Gerald Gillian is getting after it. Tell me what you usually eat before a game. Oh, I mean, it all depends. Like I said, like, I'm a Raising Cane's type of guy. 
three sauces, two pieces of bread, three chicken tenders. I mean, that's usually what I go for when I do eat. A lot of times I don't eat until after, but when I have that meal around game time, um, Raising Canes is what I go with. Tell me which of your players has the most NBA potential. Ooh, that's so hard of a question. I'm, I, <laughs> when I say we have about nine to ten guys that have a chance, and you know it's all about doing a little thing, and I tell them all the time, being able to defend, being able to play multiple positions, and if you look at the roster, it's about nine guys that have that opportunity. Who's going to take advantage of that opportunity is yet to be seen. Give me a goal for the remainder of the season, Coach. To get better every day. We're going to win some games, but it's not about just winning games. It's about getting better. It's about understanding basketball. It's about building that brotherhood, building that south side toughness. It's about just growing not only within yourself, but just within the program. Coach, a couple rapid-fire ones for you. On the plane to Mexico, aisle, middle, or window? Window? Who will sit in an aisle seat? Of course. Me, I so I can go to the bathroom. No, get a window every day, all day. Oh, okay, I'm eliminating every restaurant in the world. You get to save one. What are you saving? <laughs> Say it one more time. I'm eliminating every restaurant in the world. You get to save one. What are you saving? Ooh. On the restaurant, Dominican Republic, that's my brother's hotel. Awesome. Right. Sounds good. That was Spiraling the Staircase with head men's basketball coach, Gerald Gillian. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Set your future in motion at Chicago State University with over 70 degree and certificate programs, ample scholarship opportunities, and a vibrant campus life. Chicago State University is Chicago's number one most affordable public university with a diverse faculty, small class sizes, and almost 50 student organizations, including NCAA Division I athletics. At Chicago State, we provide you with the tools you need to succeed. Visit csu.edu forward slash admissions to learn how you can earn your first year of tuition free. It's game day in Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Canes chicken fingers, one love. <laughs> Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. At Chicago State University, you'll find five academic colleges. 56 degree programs in all. Our School of Pharmacy is number one in the Midwest for educating minority student scholars. We're ranked first in Illinois and second nationwide among public universities for educating and supporting African-American student scholars. We've achieved 100% job placement in nursing, pharmacy, and occupational therapy. 
We're number two in the nation for graduating black physics majors. For economic mobility, CSU is in the top 4% nationwide among all colleges and universities. And you get the attention you deserve because on average, there are only 10 students for every faculty member. We have some of the best professors, some of the best mentors. You have people that uplift you, that will open doors for you, that will help you. It's an opportunity where you're able to make a change. Chicago State University. Put your career in motion, your connection to friends and professors in motion. Put your future in motion. Chicago State University. Halftime at the Jones Convocation Center in Chicago. This is Chicago State men's basketball on YouTube Live. Here with Alex Campbell, I'm Chris Rouse. And right now, Alex, Chicago State down 5.30 to 25. We thought this game would be decided on the interior. St. Thomas, they brought the long distance shooting. Absolutely, Chris. And we noted midway through that first half that three-point shooting is really an area statistically where the Tommies separate themselves from the Cougars. And that's been borne out today. 44 to 25% shooting in favor of the visit. They're making the three ball work for them and either the Cougars got to find a way to respond in kind or they really got to work on closing down those shooters. Meanwhile, on the other side of the on the other side for Chicago State, Wesley Cardet Jr., their leading score at 17 a game, 17 minutes, but only two points to show for it. Yeah, he's one out of five from the floor. He's making a lot of drives with the basket as Cardet is take a look at the three-point shooting each team's been putting up Noble Crawford there making that last one but the Cougars got to find a way Chris to either turn those drives by Wesley Cardet Jr. into points or new assists for his teammates they can't keep coming up empty when he gets in good position as we recap our first half stats as we get a look at some of the first half highlights St. Thomas in that first half 40 percent from the field 10 of 25 43 percent from three seven of 16 75 percent at the free throw line shooting shooting three of four with Ben now leading the way with nine points also shooting three or four from the field all threes for Ben now meanwhile Chicago State 36 percent from the field nine or 25 from the field two of eight from three-point land 25 percent five of six from the free throw line at 83 percent and their leading scorers Ja'Shawn Corbett and Noble Crawford both with seven apiece going into the second half St. Thomas with the lead what do you think Coach Tower was telling his team obviously more of the same but what's the strategy key yeah if they're going to keep getting these open looks from three they're going to take them so I think the message if you're Coach Tower has to be assuming CSU makes some adjustments and closes those shots down what is the plan B how can you take advantage of the space that's going to create and on the other side for the Cougars we thought this was going to be more of an interior game Chris I think the Cougars have to make this an interior game it suits their strikes better it suits this matchup better if they try to keep playing the long ball I think the Tommies will be able to hold them off Chicago State in the paint right now plus six 12 to six direct correlation in the paint meanwhile seven of 16 for three for St. Thomas that is a grand total of 21 points. Chicago State outscored 21 to 6 from 3 as they're shooting 2 of 8. Second half getting ready to roll along here in about the next 90 seconds. But I'm looking at the Chicago State team. We're seeing a lot of guys sort of driving to the basket. Alex, I know you talked about Wesley Cardet Jr. Here's a look at Brent Davis, the 3 and D key for the Chicago State team. What do you think he can do in the second half? He picked up two very early fouls to Davis. And so it's going to be interesting to see if he's able to make the adjustment. Clearly, Coach Gillian wanted him out there envision him as a part of the strategy today a key contributor but if he's going to get into foul trouble he can't be that defensive asset so I'd like to think we're going to see Davis back out there to start this half or at least sub in very early and then hopefully for the Cougars he's able to stay out of foul trouble and help them close down those three pointers you got to imagine that hurt a lot not being able to have him on the floor and, and another storyline we're watching in the second half Parker Bjorklin we saw him go to the floor he's been a good a big stretch guy for this St. Thomas team what impact can he have for the time he's in the second half well, we saw him not only be a great scorer with his length, but a great passer of the ball as well. He's one of those guys that's so key to the stretched out offense that we're seeing the Tommies run. If he's not able to play significant minutes, that's a big boost for CSU. Could be one of the big differences in who ends up winning what's not been the prettiest game of basketball, but has <laughs> largely been a con closely contested game, at least at this point. It certainly has been competitive. This is the third meeting in as many years for these two teams. Chicago State having won a couple of years ago, 77 
72 here at the JCC. That was a season opening matchup back in November of that year. And then, of course, St. Thomas able to pay back the favor last year on November the 11th with a big 83-61 to 61 win. We mentioned Parker Bjorklund averaging 14 and a half a game against Chicago State in the two previous meetings with 19 two years ago here at the JCC, 10 last year at St. Thomas. Bjorklund, of course, left the game with the injury, is expected to be back out here in the second half and is on the floor. Just three points in nine minutes as you see Bjorklund at the top left of your screen in the number five uniform for St. Thomas. Great to see Bjorklund back out there after he took that nasty fall into the CSU bench in the late stages. 20 minutes to go, only a five-point margin. Time to leave those first 20 minutes in the past and see what these teams can do, Chris. Back here at the JCC here with my partner Alex Campbell and our championship crew led by Steve Grind. I'm Chris Rouse, and we're underway with second half action on YouTube Live. Raheem Anthony in possession. Ball up top to Allen. Here's Blue. As St. Thomas gets into their set here. We saw this in the first half. Alex took St. Thomas about three minutes to get into any kind of rhythm. Good man-to-man -man defense being played on this opening possession by the Cougars. Dobbs cut off by Carnett. Nice maneuver, and that's knocked out of bounds by Brent Davis. It'll stay here. Good work there by Davis, by Cardet. Only one second here on the shot clock for the Tommies to work with. They've got Bjorklund and Allen both under the rim. You would think someone's going to get a full head of steam. Where's the screen going to come from? It's for Raheem Anthony. No, they go to the corner. Allen got the shot off, or maybe he didn't. It was partially blocked. Shot clock violation. Not time there to catch, collect, and shoot. That's got to be a ball lobbed into the paint for just kind of a tip-in situation or a pass right underneath. Too much time taken there, and a turnover begins the second half. You know how in the NBA they have the tenth of a second shot clock? I think that was maybe .5 for St. Thomas on that mm -hmm. one. That was not a quick one second as Cardet gets into the front court. First offensive possession for Chicago State in half number two. A lot of aggressive cutting here for Chicago State. And again, try to find room for Corbett Jr. Cardet working inside. Lob to Crawford over his own man, stolen away by Blue. Here's Bjorklund with long strides running the floor. Got into the air and got lost. Now he gets it, he finds himself down low. Floats it up over to Jean, Jean, Jean Charles for two. And much like we saw at the beginning of the first half, Chris, turnovers at both ends to begin this second half. Chicago State, whatever the focus was from Gerald Gillian at halftime, they got to find some continuity here and just find some way to settle down. Parker Bjorklund with the first basket of the half in both halves of this game is now here's Crawford. First field goal, I should say. Here's Cardet. Over to Sean Jean Charles, corner three, in and out. Crawford goes up high for the rebound, but he stepped out of bounds when he landed out. It's a good look there for Deshaun Jean Charles, wide open in the three, in the corner for the three. That's the sort of shot you want to work for. Chicago State has not scored in over four minutes of game action. Bjorklin. St. Thomas with four out right now as Allen cuts through the paint. Wide open three from Blue off the weave. He missed it. Rebounded by Crawford. Blue now 0 of 4 from downtown as he's really been the one bleak spot in the three-point shooting as the Cougars turn it right back over. Two turnovers in two minutes to start this second half. And Cardet with the errant pass, and now Tristan Arnault will come in for Wesley Cardet, and rarely do you see Wesley take an early seat here in the second half as he'll go to the bench. We said at halftime, Chris, the Cougars had to take advantage of the opportunities when the ball is in Cardet Jr.'s hand, and it's resulted in a couple early turnovers. Press break for St. Thomas against the 2-2-1. It's knocked out of bounds off of Deshaun Jean Charles. It'll stay here with the Tommies. Big opportunity, though, for the sophomore Tristan Arnaud. Going to be given a chance to run point on this Cougars offense. Blue to trigger it in for St. Thomas. They'll run Bjorklund under the backcourt with 21 on the shot clock, 17-49 in the half. Allen guarded by Gene Charles. Gene Charles pretty much in his jersey there. Arnaud giving up some size down low against Anthony, but the entry pass not delivered. Bjorklund turns the corner and draws the foul on Arnaud, who had his hand extended. That's Tristan's first. First foul by either team in this second half. Chicago State finding themselves in a number of mismatches. As you see, Arno switched on first Anthony, now Bjorklund on the corner turn. Just a step late there, Arno. 
Anthony in to Allen. Brooks Allen. Back up top to Dobbs. Ball around the perimeter to Anthony. Inside. Great composure. That's twice he's shown it, but neither time has he scored. I think Noble Crawford got a piece of that. Allen for three. Run down by Davis for Chicago State. That was a lengthy possession. Nothing to show for it for St. Thomas. But the Tommies with the lead have the luxury of taking more time on their possessions. Now Chicago State with Arnaud, and he throws that out of bounds to St. Thomas. Crawford was there, but it looked like he zigged when he should have zagged. And I think Wesley Cardet Jr. is going to check right back into this game after a quick word from Coach Gillian. And I think Coach Gillian, he's just trying to figure out who's the right ball handler here. We mentioned Alex, how Chicago State doesn't have a true point guard listed with Ked Green being out. So he's trying to figure out if Cardet and Arno or Arno are the right guy. Already 10 turnovers in this game for the Cougars. Eight by the Tommies. 2-2-1 two, two, full court press for Chicago State, broken by St. Thomas, and now man-to-man -man defense into the front court. Anthony and Corbett, that was our key matchup. Both have been quiet. Here's Bjorklund. Gene Charles, great close out to force the pass from Allen. Shot clock at three. Dobbs gets it up off the rim, rebounded by Brent Davis. Chicago State scoreless in the second half. We played three and a half. Here's Gene Charles. Davis, 4-3, in and out. Lid on that north basket until Cardet laid that up and in for two. Saw the red square light up around the backboard there, but the three-pointer had hit the rim, so it was a shot clock reset. Nice follow up there by Cardet Jr. And Dobbs has to burn a timeout as he was trapped along the timeline. And Chicago State, they finally get on the board in the half, but both teams sloppy to start this second half. We'll take a quick break as both teams try to settle down here on YouTube Live. It's game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Back here at the JCC in Chicago, the Chicago State Cougars trailing the St. Thomas Tommies, 32-27. Here with Alex Campbell, I'm Chris Rouse. Alex, Chicago State finally on the board in this second half, but the offense slow for both teams here. Yeah, again, another way in which this second half has mirrored the first. Both teams taking their time out of the break to get back up to speed. Tommy's still holding a five-point lead, but neither team in what you would call a comfortable situation here, Chris, as we've played almost four minutes in this second half and haven't seen a whole lot of good things on either end offensively. Chicago State with the first basket in the half for the Cougars prior to the stoppage. And in St. Thomas, 0 for 4. And they've gone on a 2 minute and 41 second scoring drought. Action will resume with the time he's looking to break the drought. And Dobbs over to Anthony. Raheem Anthony guarded by Tristan Arnault. He has the size advantage, but has not been able to back him down. And right as I say that, here's a post up. Blue on the drive, right into the chest of Cardet, and he got the bank off the glass. That's something we haven't seen either team, Chris, be able to do much of very successfully, those inside dribble drives. Nice finish through contact by Kendall Blue. Kendall Blue with four points in the game. That is his first field goal. And now with 15-40, Chicago State down seven. Davis missed Jernigan cutting back door on the pick and roll. 
Cardet to Crawford, to the basket! Crawford with the one-hand slam. And smart play there by the Tommies defenders, Brooks Allen in particular, making the business decisions to get out of the way of that drive. It almost threw Noble Crawford off. He almost looked like he got caught between laying it up and dunking it before punching it down finally. He's got that big wig span that allowed him to float through the air. Great adjustment on the fly for Noble. Here's Anthony, guarded by Cardet. A number of hesitation dribbles as he goes behind the back. Bjorklund's floater looked short out the hand, and that was the result. Rebounded by Jernigan. Just a rush shot there by Bjorklund. Anthony set him up wonderfully, and he took an awkward one-handed runner. Here's Cardet over Dobbs. He was feeling it, but the rim not kind to the Cougars. Anthony, nice, nice corkscrew crossover. Here's Blue, three on the way. You got to make the highlight look good. The behind-the-back dribble, the feed, and the triple. Nice transition bucket there for the Tommies. <laughs> Raheem, I wouldn't be surprised if Anthony stared a hole in him at Kendall Blue as he let that three go. Don't mess up the assist. Eight-point game. Got to make those behind-the-back dribbles worth something, right? <laughs> exactly. He's got a nice highlight assist for Raheem Anthony, the DePaul College Prep product. Brought up under Coach Klein Schmidt. Here's Jernigan leaning it off the glass for two. And we've seen Jernigan be an impact player at both ends of the floor for the Cougars today, Chris. He's just got to string some of that together. And another player who's got to stay out of foul trouble if he's going to continue to make an impact. Six-point game. St. Thomas with the ball and the lead. Dobbs guarded by Jernigan, which means Bjorklund should have a mismatch somewhere. Now it's Dobbs again. They find Blue. Blue is going to try to shoot it over Jernigan. Not, not sure if Jernigan got a piece of it. Regardless, ball well short. More good defense there by Cam Jernigan. Arnaud over to Cardet. Chicago State with 20 on the shot clock. Gets it to the set. Arnaud wide open. He rushed it. And that should be basket interference. And it will be the call. Cougars just needed to leave that ball alone. Jernigan and Arnaud. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler. Penalty called against Chicago State. And two points that they literally left on the rim. And here's another look at the play as we get a look at the roll. First off, great roll by Arno to get open, but clearly he rushed the shot as he left it off the rim, and there's nothing to even debate here. That's clearly basket interference. You can take a choice, Davis or Jernigan. Which one do you want on the basket interference there? Yeah, ball above the cylinder. Davis got there just a half second early, and maybe it was actually going to bounce back out, but still, in that case, if you're Jernigan, you got to clear out, and if Davis is going to be the one to clean it up, let him do it. 13-27 to go in that game. 37-31 St. Thomas, our score. We get a look at head coach Gerald Gillian in his third season as Chicago State head coach. Alex, let's get a new perspective on Coach Gerald Gillian. This is a program that has been down in the, uh, sort of down in the dumps in college athletics, not just even athletics, but just to stay afloat as a university. What do you think about the job Gerald Gillian has done getting eyes on the Chicago State men's program? Well, it's never easy when you're a coach kind of in that uncertainty. It makes recruiting very difficult. And what you're trying to sell to your players but he's really leaned on those connections he has back in Florida where he was a back-to-back -back AAU national champion with team breakdown and he has you know used those personal relationship he relationships he built up on the AAU circuit to sell to these players that this is an, a big opportunity that they could be part of something part of a program on the rise here on the south side of Chicago and going into the NEC next year hopefully we get to see that reward of that faith those players have put in coach Gillian the be in conference play next season and hopefully they're able to make a big impact when they get there. Now you mentioned Florida. Through the last three seasons, since Jerry Gillian has arrived here, he's certainly created a Florida pipeline. 71% of this Chicago State roster, including the Buleys, they are listed on the roster. 14 players, 10 of the 14 are listed from Florida and in the three seasons, 54% of his rosters have been from Florida. So what do you think the Florida pipeline will do for Chicago State moving forward? Well, it certainly gives you a broader reach and that that's helpful when you're moving into a new conference. I can't imagine the NEC is really recruiting Florida a whole bunch. And so that's just an existing connection, an existing recruiting base that you're able to bring into that new conference, along, of course, with the Chicago area, when you're nowhere near geographically any of the teams you're playing. That can offer a really big recruiting advantage. And also 
gets to get bigger, excuse me, you get more eyes on the Chicago product. And, you know, Chicago State, not really known as the premier school in Chicago. This will help some kids try to come to the South Side and build this program out south. It's such a competitive basketball environment from the prep level to high school to college all the way up. Just so much talent concentrated in and around Chicago. Here's Raheem Anthony, one of those Chicago products to Paul College Prep. St. Thomas also has uh, listed on the roster Ben Osterbein out of Hinsdale Central, another local product. Yet to play, though, this season, like many of his freshman uh, teammates. And I've seen him play many a time at the Hinsdale Holiday Classic, which is coming up shortly. Martinelli has it out top guarded by Corbett. Raheem Anthony, another kid who's played it at Hinsdale Central Holiday Classic. One of the local tournaments here. Guarded by Crawford. Feeds it down low to Johnny Lee. Bank off the glass. Great patience shown by the Tommies on that possession, which earlier in it had a kind of a wild three-point attempt by Lee, but an offensive rebound. They work it around, and they find Lee for what I think he would consider a much better shot than the first one he took. Four in the game for Lee. Brent Davis wide open for two underneath. Nice feed by Jernigan. Got his defender up in the air, and just a nice right-handed underhand feed. Brent Davis has only played 17 minutes. He's got six points. Foul trouble the calls for the minutes being cut here in the game. And it hasn't been the cleanest game for the Cougars, but they're still hanging around, down just six. Davis almost had a rip as now he's guarding. He's guarding off the ball with the Raheem Anthony being guarded by Corbett. Battle to the 24s. Anthony to Bjerke, three on the way. Looked good out the hand, but he left alone to Jernigan. Bjerke was shooting that even before he got the pass. Didn't think twice. Cardet to the rim around Lee and the foul for Wesley Cardet Jr. And finally, we see one of those strong drives by Wesley Cardet Jr. pay off. He would not be denied this time over the bigger man, Lee, and go into the line for a three point play opportunity. Cardet now with six in the ball game. He's played 24 minutes. Chicago State back within four. It's 39 35, 11 44 remaining in the game. We'll be back with more here from the JCC after this. Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. It's game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers. One love. <laughs> Set your future in motion at Chicago State University with over 70 degree and certificate programs, ample scholarship opportunities, and a vibrant campus life. Chicago State University is Chicago's number one most affordable public university with a diverse faculty, small class sizes, and almost 50 student organizations, including NCAA Division I athletics. At Chicago State, we provide you with the tools you need to succeed. Visit csu.edu forward slash admissions to learn how you can earn your first year of tuition free. Chris Rouse and our championship crew here in Chicago. Alex Campbell, you ask and you shall receive. Wesley Cardet Jr. going right to the basket. Yeah, we wanted to see more of that. We wanted to see that confidence from one of these upperclassmen leaders on this Chicago State team. Wesley Cardet, either creating for himself or his teammates, seized the opportunity there, got the big man of Johnny Lee up in the air, finished at the rack. We're going to see, we're going to need to see, Chris, more of that kind of confidence from the Cougars if they're going to come back and win this game. Wesley Cardet Jr. performing well below his standards number-wise. He's averaging 17 a game, only six points here in 25 minutes. This is also Wesley's first trip to the charity stripe in the ball game, and it's coming with 11.44 to go in the game. 65% on the season is Cardet Jr. Four out of seven in last weekend over Stetson. And he hits that one to complete the three-point play, 39-36. Cardet went through the NBA draft process a year ago, planning on going through it again after this season. But, of course, that all remains to be seen for Wesley Cardet Jr. Here's Bjerke. 
Chicago State extending the trap here with their two bigs. They get the turnover. Cardet has it, and he's fouled as Bjerke took his leg out from underneath him. Great, great work by the Cougars. Putting on all sorts of pressure. Playing like 10 men rather than five, and Bjerke just knocked the ball right into the left hip of Deshaun Corbett. Cardet Jr. there to pick up the garbage. Don Marnelli will come out, the Glenbrook South local product. He'll go to the bench for Blue. Kendall Blue returns with seven points in the game, and he's guarding the inbounder, Brent Davis. Momentum maybe for the first time all night, Chris, with the Cougars. Cardet over to Corbett. Chicago State has a tendency, however, with momentum to force a three. You'd like to see a solid look here if you're a Cougar fan. There's a three from Cardet. Usual result. Rebounded by St. Thomas. Actually, Jernigan came away with it. And Cardet knocked it out. That should go to St. Thomas, and it does. Good call by the officials. Yeah, Chicago State are saying that Dobbs threw that ball out of bounds. The question is, did it take any deflection on its way off the floor? Referees say it did. And from our, here's another look at it. From our vantage point, it looked like the officials got it right, and I don't even see how Dobbs could have hit that. He was on the bottom of the pile. And now here is St. Thomas with Ben Now in the front court. Looked like it might have just hit the ankle of Brent Davis after it left the hands of Dobbs. Let's see if Chicago State can get the stop here. Carnet with a bit of a force three on the other end. And now here's Dobbs for three. That's off the rim. Going to go lone to the St. Thomas bench. Jernigan probably would have been better off just letting it go instead of go out to St. Thomas. That ball was going to be the Cougars, and instead Jernigan's right foot hits the floor out of bounds before it hit his right hand. Just not a smart play there by Cam Jernigan giving an extra opportunity here to the Tommies. That makes me think maybe Cam touched it there. I can see Jashon Corbett walked up to him and said, you gotta know the situation. And that, so that leads me to believe that Cam maybe got a piece of it. And, but as a result, Cam will go to the sideline and even Gerald Gillian is looking at Cam saying, just let it go. No need to even touch it. Tristan Arnaud replaces it. And as the trailing team, you cannot afford to give away these extra possessions. Still over 10 minutes to play, but only so much time left, and again, the Cougars have not been closer than this all day, down just three. 10.48 and counting as Blue has it in the corner. Nice feed down low to Bjorklund, blocked by Cardet off the glass. He took it to the glass, making it clean. He feeds Brent Davis, who couldn't get a clean catch, and now St. Thomas to get a clean run home for Ben Now, who gets the layup off the glass. Good feed on the assist by Bjorklund, but you mentioned a couple minutes ago, Chris, that. CSU has a tendency when they get momentum to force it, and that's what we saw by Wesley Cardet Jr. there. He makes a great play with the block on the defensive end, but then just puts his head down, driving into the lane, and it's an easy steal by the Tommies. Noble Crawford hands it off to Arnaud. Arnaud feeds it down low to Corbett. Corbett, great work inside on Bjorklund. Corbett has been limited offensively today. He takes it away from Bjorklund on the tie-up, which will keep it with Chicago State on the arrow. Yeah, Corbett's frustrated, but Chicago State keeping the ball here. Can't get too angry about the circumstances. A.J. Neal rushing to the table. And let's see who he replaces. He will get Crawford. So that'll give Chicago State a three-guard look. Plus, they'll have Corbett and Cardet as the two bigs. Here's a look at the hand fight between Bjorklund and Corbett. Yeah, and Bjorklund never had a second hand on that basketball. Corbett playing through a facial fracture this last month. Cardet for three. He got it to go that time. He's feeling it for better or worse, Wesley Cardet. And right there, it pays off down to a two-point game. He's got 10 in the game, does Wesley. That's his first made three, one of four from beyond the arc. Dobbs turned the corner, and he eluded two defenders. Now to Blue. A lot of drive and kick for St. Thomas with Dobbs, losing it in traffic. Arnaud comes away with it. Unnecessary pass, he gave it right back to Dobbs. Dobbs got Cardet in the air and got the leg. Heads up play there by Dobbs, but once again, just unnecessary. Arnaud had time there to think about it. As long as you don't roll it all when you've got the ball on the floor, you're not in any real danger there. Yeah, you're right, Alex. It seemed like he was worried about the travel and just gave it right back to Dobbs. Kind of birthday gift to, gift to the Malaya. But this Ar is the giving season. <laughs> Arnaud to Neal. Can he give him an assist? He does. Knocks down the three. And Chicago State now within one. It's been slow and methodical, Chris, but over the last five or six minutes, Chicago State keep chipping away at this Tommy's lead. The energy picking up here inside the JCC. Jones Convocation Center, if you're new here. Dobbs over to Now. Three on the way for Now. 
foul, cash it in for Benny. We've got ourselves a basketball game now, Chris. It has been a quiet game. It's been a sloppy game, but it feels like for the final eight and a half minutes, we have a lot of good in store here at the Convocation Center. What a way to shoot yourself out of a slump. He had made only three shots of 16 attempts in the last three games. He's four or five from the field. Three for four from three has been now. Pick and roll with Cardet and Corbett. Foul on now. So after he gets all the praise, he'll pick up the foul on the other end. Was, he was trying to pick up a charge here, but his feet are just moving as he makes contact with Corbett. And that'll send Deshaun to the charity stripe. Deshaun, of course, had the pleasure of representing the Virgin Islands over the summer. Of course, out of Orlando, by way of the Virgin Islands, St. Thomas and the Virgin Islands. The junior for Chicago State led the state of Illinois, all college players, college basketball players for the state of Illinois in rebounding a year ago at 8.6. It misses that free throw, but CSU's been good from the line overall today. It was 86% before that shot as we see the return of Raheem Anthony and a Johnny Lee for the Tommies. Efficiency from the field these last few minutes. Chicago State 5 of 7. St. Thomas 3 for 3. But Corbett looking to at least gain a split here with 8.18 to go in the half. A split at the charity stripe on this trip. And Corbett unable to hit an empty trip for Chicago State. Another missed opportunity for the Cougars. Seven points for Corbett in 29 minutes. He's 3 of 10. Anthony almost went over and back there. Good concentration not to pick up his left foot as he straddled the timeline. Right, I was just going to say, Alex, great call. He straddled the timeline, which saved him from going over and back. Anthony spins into traffic. Over to the corner. Allen for three with Gene Charles closing out. Didn't matter. Allen now three out of four from downtown. And suddenly, after all that hard work, it took all of 10 minutes to take it from seven points to one. It's right back to seven in front for the Tommies. Tristan Arnaud finding Brent Davis. 7.37 in county. Shot clock at 14 here. Arnaud, he's got Crawford on the low block. Chicago State has not been able to run that play with any effectiveness today. Crawford for three. There's an effective play. And a timeout on the floor. Noble Crawford, big shot to keep the Cougars within touching distance as we go down the stretch of this one. Look like we're going to have a fun finish here in Chicago. Sunday basketball on YouTube Live after this. Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn, Chicago State University. It's game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's chicken fingers. One love. <laughs> Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner of the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Chicago State Cougars trailing by four, but they have two players in double figures. Noble Crawford with 12, Alex Campbell. And this is now a third straight field goal made by the Cougars. They are six of their last eight, heating up at the right time. 7.23 to go in this one, still down by four. But good work by the Cougars not to be disheartened after a one-point deficit quickly ballooned back to seven. Big three to get it back to four. They just got to keep that concentration through the rest of this one. St. Thomas, 10 of 25 from three-point range at a clip of 40%. Nobles, three, was the fifth made for Chicago State. Five of 14 from three. Gerald Gillian's club, 36% from beyond the arc in this ballgame. Up from 25% of the break. They've been much better here in the second half, shooting the three ball where they are three out of six. 
7.23 to go in the game. Brooks Allen inbound to Raheem Anthony. He and Noble Crawford meet in midair with no one coming away injured. Or worse for the wear there. There was a lot of contact all over the court on that inbounds. No whistles. Dobbs guarded by Davis. Straight Dobbs. Slipped on the floor. He's done that a number of times in the game. We got a tie up. It'll stay with St. Thomas with 7.07 to go in the game. And it was Dobbs who hit the deck on the other end of the floor, Chris, when we saw that contact on the inbound. Might want to check his shoes. And he's, we've seen that a few times, Alex, where he's kind of driven inside and slid a little bit, where he's kind of having had to fall to avoid picking up a travel. As now Anthony would trigger it in. And he finds Dobbs. Dobbs guarded by Davis. St. Thomas a little bit stagnant on the interior on this roof. Allen just going to float it up. Why not uh, Why not float it for Brooks Allen? Had no other options and said, all right, I'll do it myself. Nice touch there on the baby hook. 51-45, 6.45 to go in the game. Will Wesley Cardet Jr. crossing the timeline for the Cougars. Cougars just got to keep up the offensive production. Corbett, guarded by a Johnny Lee. Gene Charles to Cardet. Great defense by Dobbs on the closeout. Cardet feeding Crawford, pick and roll. Crawford inside, missed it. Tapped away by Blue. Noble staying with it. Second effort for Crawford, still no. Corbett with the offensive board. He's blocked by a Johnny Lee, who comes away with the loose ball. 2-1-2, two -two. Anthony inside, rim checked, but a foul on Davis. Davis picks up his third, but what a defensive possession at the other end for a Johnny Lee as we take a look at the replay of the foul. And Raheem Anthony lowered the shoulder. There, right there, Brent Davis with the swipe on the arm will send the DePaul College Prep alum to the stripe. 51-45, our score. But again, Lee, good defense, a rebound, and then the block. Tommies won't be happy that they gave up three shots on that last possession, but they deny any points to the Cougars. Raheem Anthony, what a game he had on Wednesday for St. Thomas. He put up 23 points. He is scoreless in this game with 6.15 to go. Has six assists and four rebounds, however. And misses the front end of the two shots there. Just the impact player we highlighted for this Tommies team, Chris, in the open. But his teammates have picked him up today, and you, you noted those assists. He is making contributions offensively, just not in the points column. Those assists he had early on led to threes for St. Thomas, and now Raheem Anthony on the board with his first point of the game. Wesley Cardett Jr. Into the front court, Chicago State down seven with 6.06 to go. Here's Corbett, that's his spot, but he couldn't get it to go. Run down by Brent Davis, who saved it in bounds. He bounces it long off the basket support, and it'll go to St. Thomas. A valiant effort there, but again, we're seeing a cold streak suddenly. Tommies, five of their last five, and the Cougars, O oh, of their last four from the field, have seen this lead go back up to seven. And now St. Thomas facing a 2-1-2 four court press from Chicago State to get into the front court with now. Now to Anthony. Only one point from St. Thomas's impact player, and they have a seven-point edge. Anthony backing down on Crawford. Kicks it out to Blue. Huge three if he hits it. Was unable to do so. Rebounded by Crawford. Nice box out there by Noble Crawford to hold off Anthony. Fifth rebound of the game for Noble Crawford in 28 minutes. Wesley Cardett Jr., he's got 10 points in 30 minutes. Jernigan coming to set the screen. Chicago State not really getting within 20 feet of the basket here until now with eight. Cardet stolen away by Allen. It's a three on two. Allen to hit it the trailer now. And now they got blue. And St. Thomas will settle down. Anthony lost it to Crawford. Brent Davis lost it into the front court and a foul on now. Coach Gerald Gillian wants a clear path. Let's see what the official calls. Could just be a common foul. That's a good foul in the end by now. Breaking that up, Anthony at the uh, on the offensive end for St. Thomas just getting a little too cute with it there. Tried to go behind the back. Noble Crawford read it. And initially a tangle of feet there brings down Davis. Ben now picks up the foul. And now the officials will go to the table to review. While they do that, we'll take a break. We'll return with Chicago State men's basketball here on YouTube Live. Let's put your ambition in motion. Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. 
For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. It's game day, Raising Canes. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> Back here in Chicago, we await the ruling of this last foul. Was it clear path or not? Bryn Davis fouled by Ben Now on the open floor. What do you say, Alex Campbell? Well, the refs say no. They've just pointed to the sideline that this is just going to be an inbound for a unremarkable foul on the floor. There were other men back, though. There were other players ahead, so I can understand why the referees will rule that that wasn't simply an open path situation. And also, no possession there. Brent Davis is trying to get to the ball, but usually for clear path, possession must be clearly established. And it's got to usually look a little bit more cynical than that. It's certainly a foul by now, but he was, in some respect, trying to go for the ball. Exactly. Even though, even though that is a bad swipe, it's a situation where he just missed. He was going for the ball, just missed it, got there late. Nothing malicious, and action resumes with 4.53 and counting. Here is Brent Davis, guarded by now. Corbett hands it off to Cardet. Cardet turns the corner, feeds Jernigan, who gets fouled by Anthony. And that might be a tough foul on Raheem Anthony because he only bumped into Jernigan because Cardet ran into him. Yeah, he wasn't even looking. He didn't know Jernigan was there as we take another look. See right there, Cardet runs into Anthony, and he runs into Jernigan. That's a tough call there. Third foul on Raheem Anthony. That's tough for both because what do you call that? Offensive foul on Cardet or I think out you of just, bounds? I think you just swallowed the whistle in that scenario. And now Corbett gets the inbound. A.J. Neal thought about the three. Parker Bjorklund guarding him. Brent Davis lets the three fly. First time he's looked confident shooting today and he missed it. Rebounded by St. Thomas. It's not a good combination right now, Chris. The Cougars are taking a long time and getting bad shots. Either you gotta, if you're gonna take a shot like that, you gotta launch it quickly. Time is not on your side. Anthony to Allen, three on the way. That's a great look, in and out, rebounded by Crawford. Four minutes and counting to go, 4.06 to be exact. Cardet to Corbett, long pass. Corbett, what an adjustment to grab it with his left hand. Great vision there by Wesley Cardet Jr. When he threw that pass, Chris, I didn't even see where it was going, but he did. Right, I thought that was going to the basket support. Corbett reeled it in and got the two out of it. Here's now a wide open three. He hasn't been missing today. Just a mistake there by the Cougars on defense to lose track of the hottest hand in the building. Five out of six from downtown for Ben Now. That ended a two-plus minute scoring drought for St. Thomas as Now makes it an eight-point game. Largest lead of this half, I believe. Crawford. Feeds it down low to Corbett. That play has finally gotten to Jashan. Neal, three on the way, missed everything. Cardet, nice save to Brent Davis, poked away by Now. Now a scramble on the floor. Crawford comes up with it. A lob, maybe, or was it a shot? Not sure, didn't get any points. It wasn't a good lob, and it was an air ball of a layup there. Missed opportunity again for the Cougars. Bjorklund to Now, a lot of helter-skelter here. This is just totally broken, <laughs> and now we've got the Tommies in hold the ball mode. They think the lead and the time remaining are good enough. Now for three, missed everything. Raheem Anthony from 25 feet across got the board. St. Thomas won a shot clock reset, but that was an air ball. Allen and one. What a possession for St. Thomas. They certainly earned the points on that trip. Take almost a full minute off the clock, and they get an and one at the end of it. Brooks Allen through the contact, and what a stretch for St. Thomas. A lot of helter-skelter, the ball all over the place, and St. Thomas, they pull in the composure to get the two, which could possibly ice the game. We'll see if Chicago State can rally back with 2.37 to go here on YouTube Live. after. Let's put your ambition in motion. 
Let's turn roadblocks into new paths to success. For over 150 years, Chicago State University has fostered ambition, started careers, and built successful lives of accomplishment for our students. Now, it's your turn. Chicago State University. It's game day at Raising Cane's. If you want to order like a champ, forget about X's and O's. The only play you're running is chicken. So what combo are you picking? We've got tailgates of hand-battered, cooked-to-order chicken fingers and cane sauce. Touchdown! And jugs of freshly made tea and lemonade. This season is about to be unbeatable. Raising Cane's Chicken Fingers, one love. <laughs> Great seats at a great price. Get them safer, simpler, and smarter with Ticket Smarter. A proud partner to the biggest names in live sports and events, including ESPN Events and iHeartRadio. Ticket Smarter has seats for over 125,000 live events and 48 million tickets for sale. All backed with the Ticket Smarter 100% ticket guarantee. Thinking about your next great live event? Think smarter. Think Ticket Smarter. Get your tickets your way guaranteed at TicketSmarter.com. Here with Alex Campbell, I'm Chris Rouse, and St. Thomas up 27-22 in second half scoring. Here are the latest two from Brooks Allen. Great ball fake there, just froze Wesley Cardet, gave him the one-on-one -on -one there with A.J. Neal, who was powerless to really do anything else in that scenario. And a chance now for St. Thomas to take the largest lead they've had all game, currently matching that mark at 10. Brooks Allen at the stripe. He's got 13 points. Gerald Gillian looking on. His team, they had rallied back, but maybe they used too, energy, too much energy just to get back within one. And it doesn't get any easier for them after this. They're going up to Evanston to take on Northwestern. Take on. Knocked off then number one Purdue a week ago. Yeah, and I'm sure our friend Sam Brief, the Northwestern alum, would love to hear that on air. But now it'll be Chicago State's turn to head up north to Evanston to try to get a win against the Wildcats. St. Thomas has a ranked matchup this, ne this next week, too. They're going to Marquette. St. Thomas, they've been playing some tough ones. They played Cal earlier this year, a loss on the road. And this, if they are able to win, was with 219, it looks like St. Thomas will be. This will be their second road win of the season. As Tristan Arno picks up his second foul. Yeah, that game is on Thursday. It's at Marquette, and they'll actually get to be on national television. Fox Sports 1 carrying that action as to your point, Chris, the Tommies continue a very strong non-conference slate. St. Thomas team 4-0 and at home. 1-3 and at the moment on the road. And if they hold on here, will be their second road win. And they are building momentum. They even played Cal Tough despite the five-point loss earlier this year. Dobbs three. Knock it down for Dobbs. He's got seven in the ball game. And that's his first made three of the game, and what a time to do it. That sure feels like a dagger. Cardet to Davis, wide open, lays it up off the glass. He missed it, pushed in the back, foul on Raheem Anthony. That's Anthony's fourth. It's not going to matter much, it doesn't look like, as the lead is now 14 points. But, you know, I, I mentioned midway through this second half, Chris, that the Cougars got hot at the right time, and they have struggled mightily ever since. St. Thomas, on the other hand, 9-0 run these last two minutes. Chicago State scoreless in the last two minutes. Bad timing for Chicago State to go through a drought. Yeah, 12-2 run here late. As the first free throw is good by Davis. And Jernigan checks back in, in place of Noble Crawford. Likely the end of his day, Crawford 12 points, six rebounds. He is Chicago State's leading scorer to this point in the game. Ben now with 17 points. What a turnaround for him after 13, only 13 points over the last three games, 17 in the 40 minutes played here in Chicago State. Good offensive rebound by Jernigan. Corbett falls down on the floor. Here's Davis. Davis step back. He lost Anthony for three, left it long. Run down by Dobbs and it looks like St. Thomas about 90 seconds from a win here in Chicago. Anthony up the court to Lee, who's all alone for a two-hand slam. Lots of style points there. Anthony, kind of an unnecessary no-look pass, and then the emphasis, the exclamation point on that jam. Seen a couple of those today by a Johnny Lee. 
That was the eighth assist of the game for Raheem Anthony. Also the second dunk from Lee. He had the first half dunk from that same spot where Jernigan just got blocked, actually. And it'll stay with Chicago State. Another block there for Johnny Lee. Of St. Thomas, when they came here on November the 9th, 2021, it was a 77-72 win for Chicago State. Gerald Gillian with a win in his first game as Chicago State head coach. These two teams match up here, and it looks like it'll be all St. Thomas as we got a minute seven to go. We'll get another look at one of the key plays in the game. Here's another look at that block against Jernigan. He's defended the rim so well today at Johnny Lee. Again, yet to start the season, but you got to think he's got to be pushing Coach Johnny Tower's hand a little bit, given his performances off the bench as we take another look at his dunk on the offensive end. Johnny Lee to this point in the game, six points, three rebounds for a bigger Johnny Lee. Three of five shooting from the field. And the St. Thomas team inching closer to a win. Minute seven to go here. Allen end of the game again for St. Thomas. You just saw him walking down the court. What a game Brooks Allen has had. 14 points and three rebounds. Good for second in scoring amongst all scorers behind Ben Now who has 17. Cardet to Corbett. And right back to Cardet. Cardet guarded by Lee. Left hand layup off the glass. Good for two with 59 seconds in counting. And is now St. Thomas going to take their time getting it in to Raheem Anthony. Again, just the sort of thing we didn't see enough this afternoon from Wesley Cardet Jr. 10 points on 10 shots for Wesley. Nice to make that 12 points on 11 shots. And now you feed it down low. And it might sound rough to say a guy who scored 12 points wasn't doing enough. It's, it's less about him. It's more the chances and the space that was created. Talk about creating space. Brooks Allen wide open for another three. He's now got 17 in the game. The match been now as the game's leading score, 66-50. Chicago State a dribble into the front court with 22 seconds and counting to go. Shot clock might as well be off here. Less than a difference between the two. Less than a second difference. And a foul against Allen. So Allen with the last basket for St. Thomas will pick up a foul with 15 and one-tenth of a second. And Wesley Cardet to the line where he's perfect one of one, but just not going to be Chicago State's day, Alex. Yeah, into the bonus now with 15 seconds left. That's yet another very academic point. Interesting to see that the Tommies aren't going to empty their bench here and give some guys their season debuts. And Carnett misses the free throw. St. Thomas will have to push it into the front court. It'll be blue to get it across. And the St. Thomas Tommies, they come into Chicago. They come out south to the south side, and they defeat the Chicago State Cougars 66 50, our final St. Thomas on a 6-4. Chicago State falls to 3-9. Final thoughts on the Cougars, Alex? Well, the Cougars, a tough game today. Not able to string together wins here at home. Big test, though, Wednesday at Northwestern. I think they'll just be disappointed that they didn't take care of the ball better here. St. Thomas led by two scores. Brooks Allen and Ben now. They had 17 points. What do you think is the key for Johnny Towers' team moving forward? Hey, they got a lot of momentum going up to Marquette, and they're looking good as they hit that big game. And then here's some of the look at some of the big plays that have happened here at the JCC that will wrap it up for us in our championship crew here in Chicago. Our next presentation of Chicago State Athletics tomorrow right here at the JCC for women's basketball as it'll be the Chicago State Cougars against the Georgia Southern Eagles. NCAA Division I women's basketball action happening right here tomorrow at 3 p.m. Central Time on YouTube Live. And once again, for all of our crew here at the JCC, in Chicago from my partner Alex Campbell, our director Steve Grind, and the rest of our championship crew. This has been another presentation of Chicago State Athletics and Chicago State men's basketball from the Jones Convocation Center. For all of our crew, I'm Chris Rouse. This has been another presentation of Chicago State men's basketball. Remember, tomorrow, women's basketball here on YouTube Live against the Georgia Southern Eagles. We'll see you then from the JCC.